Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to be dismantling this little dresser and I'll tell you why here in just a minute. Stick around. Okay guys, so a couple years ago I had fixed this dresser it always sat in the uh, closet because our room's not that small and it's a big there's a whole bunch of these things there's just not enough room for this thing anymore so since we did to re redid the closet we fixed this because the drawers were sticking and it worked okay for you know well it worked beautifully for about another year and then it just started getting these pieces in here on the sides uh, they're plastic and they start breaking off and chipping off and uh, the drawers start sticking again and then you're pulling on the doors and they they don't want to come out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismantle this and I'm going to make two shelves I'm going to cut this rounded edge off here and then I'm going to make two floating shelves I'm going to use these I may have to cut I got these long on purpose so what they'll do is once I cut the shelf cut this in half this top is going to make two shelves okay and then what you do is you drill a hole Like I said, this rounded edge is going to be trimmed off. Drill a hole, and these will go inside like that. And then what you do is you mount this on your wall, same way with one on the other side. Then you just slide your drawer or your shelf over top of it. I'm going to put my camera, my, uh, my vintage cameras and stuff, my camera collection on these two shelves. So... I ordered some of these. I got uh, eight of these. It's enough for four shelves. Um, on Amazon, I think it was for, yeah, it was Amazon for like 20 bucks. So that's pretty cool. Now, I don't have a drill press to make sure that that's going to go in straight. So I've got plenty of room. So hopefully. I can drill it straight enough with my hands <laughs> so that way it'll set perfectly against the wall where it needs to be now, I don't know if we're going to keep it like this I don't know if this is going to come clean there's like a water stain here and I don't know if it's going to come clean so she may she may want to paint these we'll just have to see but this is from June 12th, 1978. So, kind of a shame, but again, you can fix these, but I just, we don't have the room in the bedroom for this extra piece. So, I'm going to repurpose it. So, it's still going to be used. Like I said, this, I don't think this is going to come off. Uh, most of this is going to be It's going to be cut off right down through here. It's going to be be straight, and then I'll cut these in half with my little table saw over there. But uh, and then I'll re reuse some other pieces on it. I'm not sure how this thing comes apart or anything yet. So uh, I know this part is screwed on. So I don't know. I'll get a rubber mallet or something. But first I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this piece off first. And then I'll probably pop that back. It looks like it's just stapled in. Yeah, it's just stapled in. We'll pop the back off. I don't know if this is glued in with dowels or what. I'm not sure about that. But we'll figure it out. Like I said, I don't want to break any of the wood, it's still good wood. Because it's real wood, I think. <laughs> we'll know once we get it together. I don't know if this is veneer or not. 
it doesn't look like it but we'll just have to see uh if it is then that's not a big deal it's getting painted anyway but i'm going to repurpose this so let's get started on it i got my my little thing out here dowels and glue and screws that's not real wood no that on the sides is not huh that's wow. press board oh no that ain't good on the sides I'll be back with you. I won't be using them side pieces, that's for sure. <laughs> no. That's a, um, what about the bottom? Might be able to use the bottom for something. Change of plans, we're not using that, are we, Mama? No. <laughs> we're just going to get a nice two by eight and uh, that way I can sand it and we'll stain it the way we want. Yeah. And using this crap. So I don't feel bad about tearing this thing apart now. No. At least we know. <laughs> I still wanted to repurpose it, but uh, the front of the drawers I can still use those at a later date. I can probably repurpose those for something. But And the handles, the drawer pulls, I can save those. So, but this... Go in the burning pile. <laughs> so stick around when we finish the shelves. I don't know when that'll be, but for you guys, it'll just be a second. So, right? Right. All right, guys, we're back. Just went and bought. These are going to be my shelves. Just went and bought some new ones. Uh, I got an 8-footer, uh 2 by 10 which is really not two inch and it's not really 10 inch. But it was eight foot and a quarter. So I told the guy, instead of me having to come home and cut it, they cut it for you. I said, uh, split it right down the middle, split it in half. He threw it on the machine, he cut it. He said, you guys have a good day and took off and went and clocked out. One of them was this much too long. So we had to have another guy come back and cut it the right way for us. That's how much too long it was. He didn't even cut it down the damn middle. Uh, this one was 47 inches and seven eighths or something like that. And this one was 48 inches and three eighths or something like that. He didn't split it down the middle. What an idiot. <laughs> So the other guy was real nice. He was really apologetic about the other guy. And I said, well, you know, it's, you know, you don't have to apologize for his stupidity, but he cut it off for us. And these are perfect now. Um, and I grabbed this, I said, we paid for that. I'm taking it with us. <laughs> All right, Monk? Yep, so I'm gonna wipe them off now. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna wipe the dirt off. And we got some stain. I'm gonna put some stain on here. And we're gonna let it dry and then we gotta take a bed apart, right? Yes. And then by then the stand will be dry and we're gonna use our new drill press over there. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. Uh, there's a video on that. I don't know if it'll be before this. It'll probably be after this, but anyway, there it is. Um, so yeah, she's gonna wipe it off for me. I'll throw some stain on there. It'll dry and then we'll come out and drill our holes.
Okay guys, there's coat one. I think it's pretty close already. I will probably give it a, a second coat. We'll, we'll see. And to my keen-eyed viewers, yes, you saw that right. I didn't sand nothing. I didn't plane it. I didn't run it through a joiner. We did that on purpose. We're going for that rough look and, you know, the, this is going to be the bottom side because that's what you're going to see. So, the knots, I think it's going to look good. And that's what we're looking for. So, all right, I'll be back with you guys. Okay, guys, we're on day two. Stuff set up. That's where Monkey wants it to be. Two coats. Now I'm just setting my board up so I can get ready to start drilling the holes. Now I'm going to show you how I mark for the center of my edge right here. I'll show you how I do that. It's real easy to find. You don't have to me measure or anything like that and figure out what's half of this and half of that. I'll get to that here in just a second. Hang tight. Okay guys, so here's how I mark to get the center of the edge of the board. I'm just going to take my speed square here, I'm going to put it right on the edge. I'm going to mark this down like that. And I'm going to put it on the edge just like that. That is perfect center. Now, let's check it and be sure here. Okay, so we've got inch and a half board all right now we go over here measure the center and there's three quarter I don't know if you guys can see that let me see if I can zoom in on it for you so you can see right there's three quarter you see that I know these numbers are tiny but right there's three quarter there's an inch and a half over here. So right there. Three quarter. I work on any board. There you go. Perfect. Alright. Now what I gotta do is my drill bits are not long enough for this whole thing so I just want at least half of this which this board is nine inches nine and an eighth inches so I really all I need to do is go half of this board so I'm gonna take my drill bit I'm gonna measure up to that and it's about four and three quarters so that'll give me my half and also because down there I've got the knot that I would have to worry about so what I'm gonna have to do is shoot I'm just gonna have to cut this down whatever I need it to be once we draw our holes and then I'll cut these down all the same length because everything's gonna be the same so let's get ready. Um, oh, this has got a nice little, nice little holder for the key up here. Uh, you can see a van in the background. Um, Mom's coming home today, so. That's her, that's her hospital bed and her oxygen, so, there's that. I'm just going to set that there. So yeah, I will be doing a video on cleaning this old drill press up. 
I'm going the wrong way. I think it'll be fun just to, you know, clean the chuck up and, you know, get all this stuff off of it, clean that, clean the rust off of it. Hopefully, this bit is not bent, but we're going to find out. Boy, she talks so loud on that phone, don't she? Okay. Looks like it's going to be okay. And then once we get this up here... awesome all right I may have to raise this up just a tad bit I'm trying to get all I can get um, so let's see we've got a nine inch board and I'm gonna be able to make a five and three eighths hole five and three eighths deep so five and three eighths is gonna put me down a little more than halfway about two-thirds that'll be plenty because I'm not putting heavy stuff on here if it was going in the garage where I'd be putting car parts and stuff, then I would go pretty much the full length. But since this is just going to hold my cameras, it'll be fine. It'll be plenty deep enough for that. So let's get ready. I'm going to get this set up. I'm probably going to put a clamp on this because, see, as you can see, that board is not right there. I still can't get over how much that guy messed up. This board, I measured it was eight feet and a quarter inch all he had to do was measure over four feet and uh eighth of an inch he couldn't do it those are the guys that want 15 20 bucks an hour i was talking to a guy that was waiting to have something for him cut and uh, i had him laugh and i said oh yeah they'll hire anybody if you got experience you got experience in in uh carpentry yeah, sure, I built a birdhouse back in the Boy Scouts once. You're hired. You know, that's pretty much it. Okay, guys, enough of the rant. Let's move on to getting this set up. I'll put a clamp on here, like I said, to hold that. Maybe raise this up just a little bit because it's already up. So, all right. Let's drill a hole. I got this running at 1390 RPMs for wood. Now I'm going to have to raise this up so I can drill down in farther. And again, I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to get my holes drilled. And uh, then I'll be back with you and show you what I'm going to do up here. Okay, so I got this in here. It's straight. It just kind of looks funny because it's at an angle there. So let's measure this. And I'm going to measure up to the top of this because this is going to be recessed just a smidge in there. So it should be about three inches-ish. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Perfect. Three inches. So I'm going to cut all these off at three inches. And then I'm going to drill the rest of my holes. Okay, so I had to go get a new cutoff wheel because, <laughs> well, Monkey used my cutoff wheel last week, was it, to cut some copper. Check that out. Look at that. We're down to the mesh. So, <laughs> I, how do you do that cutting copper? So anyway, I went and bought... I bought two cutoff wheels and a flapper disc. Already got this one on here now. So I had a, which brings me to a good point. I had a comment here. It wasn't too long ago, but I did uh, 
I deleted his comment because this guy was an absolute idiot. He said, uh, I noticed you have a Patreon page and I noticed you're monetized. What do you need money for? It doesn't cost anything to film. Okay? You're right, it doesn't cost anything. So these two cutoff wheels right here. And this flapper disc right here, $21, almost 22 bucks. It doesn't cost anything to make these videos, no. Idiots like that just, oh, they make me mad. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to cut these off, and then I'll finish drilling my holes. And like I said, I'll show you how I'm going to make that set flat into the wood, okay? So... I'll just speed you up through this. It's kind of boring just cutting stuff. So let me get you moved around in a different angle. Let's cut some of these off. And um, I got to go in the house and get two more. Three more. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Hey, there we go. Now, I'm just going to take my little pencil here. We'll mark this around here. Now I don't have to mark the holes because these are going to go into the wall. So. And I'm just going to take a chisel and kind of chisel this out. Let me go get a chisel. I'll do this one for you and then I'll just go ahead and finish the other stuff off camera because it's all going to be a repeat. Okay, ain't the prettiest, but I'm not a carpenter. There we go. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> three more to do. I'll spare you of having to watch that again, because like I said, just a repeat. So, let me get going on them. Make some holes. We're going to put our hardware in there. And we'll get this side on. Then that way I can go over. I got marks on that board where the other side's going to be. And we'll slide it off. Do the same thing as we did on this side. Pull that off. I'll mark this. And we'll do the same thing on this side as I did over here. I won't bore you with that, but I'll bring you back when we're sliding this on. One more to go. I'm not going to bore you with it. I'll bring you back once I get it on there. And we should be good to go. Alright. Time to get some cameras. Okay guys, so there it is. There's 18 up there. That's not counting, of course, the one I'm using. That's not counting my body camera. Because I got them in a different bag. So that way if I want to go, I can take off and go. I also have a uh, little tiny 
spy camera they call it a little cube it's not up there it's in another bag and I have I have like two two or three that are for parts that I don't have up there because you know one of them I took apart you guys saw it was just unfixable um, so it's not going to be up there uh, a couple of those over here quit working that JVC with the light I think it stopped working and one of the other ones beside it stopped working uh, that one beside that black JVC um, that's for dads it does work somewhat records audio no video um, all of these did work at one time uh, that one up there second from the right on the top shelf that's from the 70s I can't remember what year it is but it's from the early 70s and um, it's just you put batteries in it and you squeeze the trigger there's no sound or anything so it's an old vintage one that RCA is kind of cool up there and a couple of them don't work anymore but that's okay it's my collection when I buy them I don't care if they do or not so that looks pretty cool up there I, and I love each and every one of them but there are some up there that I can just reach up and grab the one on the right that sharp it works the old one works um, there's my my uh, GoPro cheap go version of GoPro it works the one besides it's her dad's it doesn't work it's got issues but it looks nice the third one down on the bottom third one from the right it works flawlessly it's just it's 720 it's not you know 1080 or anything like that but it does work the one beside it's old blue the one beside that works the one beside that the Canon I believe it is one of them two there work it's got night vision we use it for like ghost stuff so and I also have my other AX Sony AX 53 that I gotta have repaired the screens messed up on it so I'm trying to find somebody I can send it to and repair it um, so I got that one I think I got another one in the garage I'll have to go check let me check on that okay and we also got this cheap Andor or whatever it was like 200 bucks you got a whole bunch of stuff this is a, the first brand new camera we bought together and believe it or not it still works um, it's all kind of but it, it does still work um, batteries probably dead right now but um, this would this would be good to set outside or something if I wanted to to uh, record something. I moved old blue down there. I'll set this one up here. This one here still works. This is the one I was telling you has night vision, I believe. It may kick on right now. If the battery's not dead. I think the battery's dead. Okay, yeah, so the battery's dead on it. I could charge the battery. I made some batteries for this thing. So, there's that. Alright, cool. Okay, guys, so there's my collection. Um, you know, it's a cheap collection, but it's mine and I like it. I'm turning around. Alright, let's back you out a little bit here. Okay, so there's my collection, guys, and there's our shelves. I think it matched pretty good with the... Um, my desk there and the rest of the bedroom suit looks identical to this so it all matches well so anyway guys thanks for watching um, there's there's my cameras like I said I have a couple more <coughs> but the AX53 I do want to have it fixed it's the same one I'm using right now I want to get it fixed and yeah so I got I got several <laughs> But it's just my little collection. I've got 
not counting that one I just put up that Monkey and I bought brand new, not counting that one, all the cameras up there, minus that one, even the GoPro, all put together, I've got around 50 bucks in all of them. So it's a collection. I don't care if they work or not. It's great to be able to, I know which one, like that one on the end works, and one of those two work. Uh, both of them work, I do, no, the JVC don't. So the two on the end work, uh, one of those uh, kind of acts funny. It works once in a while. So, like I said, uh, that one there works, that one works, that one works, that works, that one works, that one works, that one works. So, you know, I, it's just my, my little collection. I, I like it. Some guys, you know, collect cars. Well, I don't have the room or the money to do that. So, I can afford this. Like I said, there's about, I got about 50 bucks in all, and most of them have cases. So, and the cases are, you know, nice cases. This is for that third one over from the right. So, it's a nice case. Hardly ever been used. They just stuck the camera in there and that's it. So, yeah, I've got some nice cases here. Yeah, this is a nice case. I mean, those, you know, those alone to me, you know, they're worth five bucks a piece. Then I got these for the big ones. There's one in, I got two here. This one, it's got keys to it. This one down here, it has keys to it. And then I have another case in there that, that, uh, that one of, one of them go in. So, those are those three big ones there. So, anyway guys, Shea Bear, Myth Man Legend. Thanks for watching. Thanks for helping me out on the shelves. I appreciate it. I think it looks pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I can sit here and look up at, at my at my little my little treasures. So <coughs> I gotta get a drink. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again guys, I appreciate it. Shea Bear the Myth the Man Legend gone for now. And uh you guys stay safe, alright? We'll see you soon. Bye bye.